Hi, this is Dr. Tony Kovacs at Sound Relief Hearing Center in Fort Collins, Colorado. And today we're going to cover how to clean your Oticon over the ear device. So the first thing that I like to do is just brush the microphone ports. The microphone ports are these little holes. You can see one here, one here, and one on the other side here. Now, if you have a little brush that your device came with, you can use that. If not, just a toothbrush that you buy that you designate specifically for your devices. It's just fine, and in some cases it works, it works much better. And you can just brush these little microphone ports a little bit. This is the dome, this part here, the little part on the end that sticks into your ear. And we're gonna go ahead and remove that. And the way we're gonna do that, um, first of all, if this ear grip may or may not be on your device, if it is, you can just kinda pull that out of the way while you're doing that. So what I'm gonna do is put a fingertip right on the end of here. Fingertip goes there. Pinch your fingers and you get a, a thumb underneath this material and then you can just Pull it right off. So here at Sound Relief, we use audio wipes, which are specifically designed for devices. If you're in a pinch, you can use an alcohol prep wipe, but it is recommended that you use audio wipes if possible. They're just designed specifically for electronics. So here's my alcohol wipe, or in this case, uh, the audio wipe. And I put that dome right in there and just mash it around. And that'll clean out any wax that has accumulated in the dome itself. We'll put that off to the side. You know, you can also use this wipe to just kind of wipe down the whole thing. The next thing we're gonna wanna do is change the wax filter. So you can see this little white part in the end here, how it has a little white tip to it after we take off the dome. There's this white tip underneath. What we'll do is we'll get some wax filters. Open that up. And there's your little turtle shell here. So you pull out one of these tabs and you can see on this tab, that there's two prongs here. One side has a little white piece and the other side is empty. That little white piece is the new wax filter and the empty side is where the old one is gonna go. So, you take this device, you hold the speaker, that's this part right here is called the speaker, and you wanna line up the empty side directly into the hole. And you might even hear it snap. It'll, it'll stick in there if you let it. It'll stick right in there when you get it in right. Then when you pull this out, it will take the wax filter with it, and you just want to pop the new one in. So we're going to stick that right in there. Again, it'll, it'll hold if you get it in correctly. Now when we pull it out, it releases the new wax filter. You can throw this away. You no longer need that. And now you have to put the dome back on. So I like to grab it just like this, and then look underneath. There's a little grommet right in the middle of that bell there. And so you have to line it up just about perfectly and then wedge it onto there. If you have done it correctly, you should be able to do a slight tug test just to make sure it's not gonna fall off in your ear canal. We recommend that you do this approximately once a month or for general troubleshooting. If your devices are not working or one of your devices is not working, chances are it's either the battery or the wax filter. So if you need help with either of those things, please give us a call. Have a great day. Thanks.